Good morning, everybody. We'll do, it. We'll, we'll do it live, Scott. We'll just test you live. There you go. All right. I am Charles McFall, director of the Dragon Con Digital Media Track. Everybody excited this morning? There we go. Awesome. We have one other person who's supposed to be sitting here. Hopefully, he'll he'll pop in. Um, it's going to be a great year, and and we always try to set the tone with it and do a few announcements. We've got a bunch of new volunteers this year. Uh, Dave is here. Wave everybody, Dave. Uh, Cause there's Cause in the corner. You can't see her. Yay. She is. Uh, we've got Alex will be here shortly, and Jake will be here this evening. Uh, so they're new, but they're willing to help and they'll point you in the right direction. We got Joe over here returning to us. Yay. Hey, I, I know he's more popular than I am in the Discord. We got good Scott. <laughs> and they make they make everything happen. Um, so masks, right? We gotta wear masks while you're in the audience, while you're walking around, those kind of things. Uh, the panelists, if you and if you have panels later, this is for you to know. Uh, panelists can all talk to each other. If you agree to take the mask off and you're fine, that's fine. Uh, there are protections on the microphones. We're cleaning the rooms. We're doing everything we can. Honestly, this might be the cleanest Dragon Con ever. Uh, speaking of clean, Tyra, you got to watch your language today, okay, Tyra? So, um, yeah, we got a cusp. Cosmetic is a cusp, but we do have the charity buckets. And uh, you know what? I need to steal Tony's graphic and we can put it up for this QR code. The charity this year is Boys and Girls, uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, rather, sorry. Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America. And uh, it's really cool. And Dragon Con is going to match dollar for dollar what we donate. Uh, so there is that. If you miss it, if... we have one person who needs a big brother in the audience, apparently. Um, if you miss it. <laughs> Uh, so last night, Thursday nights, we're starting to do content. Last night, uh, Tony hosted the Comedy for a Cause. If you missed it, you missed it. It was a great room. Tony, tell everybody a little bit about how last night went. Oh, it, how it went? Yes. Oh, man. You know, it was a, a lot of fun. We had a great turnout. Uh, it was funny because I wanted to do a comedy show, and I was like, hey, let's get some comedians together. And the way it worked with Dragon Con is you just sort of put their name in a hat, and they were told, all right, you're going to do the show. So, I don't know. It was just kind of uh, interesting. I met most of them for the first time. Yeah, I chatted with them a little bit. I chatted with most of them, um, but literally met them for the first time. Like, hey, all right, let's do the show. Uh, but they all did great, man. It was it was full. We had a blast. Um, I forgot my note cards were in my pocket. It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a good time. It went really well. It was great. All right. So we try to set the tone with this. I'm gonna tell you. You know, what Dragon Con means to me, we're going to go down. And I want to introduce everybody before I do that. So to my immediate left, I've got Stephanie Cunola. Yay! Yay! Woo! All right. Good yeah, job, right. Charles. I'm Stephanie Cunola, a podcaster and streamer based in Austin, Texas. And now I want to introduce you to all my friends, yeah. new <laughs> friends and old friends. Bar Fox, I tried to get two years ago uh we do digital media so it's youtube it's twitch it's everything we can do and it's a big big move of podcasters right because that's where we came from was podcasting track and i found bar fox i think chris wisdom might have said oh you need to get this guy 
I went and watched the videos. It's great stuff. And then COVID hit. And we were getting so Bar Fox was able to make it back this year. Hello, everybody. What's going on? That is a wonderful introduction. I need to take you everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. I am Bar Fox. I am the creator of Cosplay Your Way. Hopefully you guys have seen it. If, you've not, if you have not, check it out. Um, I also did a cosplay documentary recently that won two Telly Awards and it's in the Cannes Film Festival. So I was so excited about that. Thank you. The Short Film Festival. But um, I am definitely here to have a great It's amazing, and I would have paid you know, triple the price for that shirt. It was great. Uh, <laughs> Buy three and give me one. Uh, but it, it was it was an amazing content. It was amazing vibe, and she survived COVID with the con. They'll be doing it again. But Jessica Cupferman. Hi. So when's the next con, Jessica? And you know, to be fair, it's <laughs> you know, podcasting started as a a, a white guy sport, right? Uh, it, it was it was still dominant, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I wasn't supposed to even be on this panel. I was supposed to be sitting in the corner, or so I'm just saying. I try to change things. No, no, but what I want to say is. I, I went in expecting, okay, this is, is definitely a female-driven conference. Still, very accepting. No, I've been to other conferences. I've been to New Media Expo and some others, and it's like people look at you like you don't belong here. And I did truly expect that there because, like, well, I mean, it's a female-driven thing. And, no. Yeah, I don't need to be swinging my masculinity around the room. And, no, it's very, very cool. Hey, now, yeah. No one does. Uh, <laughs> you know, Yes, yeah, so I'm very happy to have you. Yeah, it was it was great. Anything I can do to help out that conference and, and what you do is amazing. Uh, another amazing lady. Uh, founder the first year, I was, I was booking guests for Dragon Con, and she was an attending pro. And she had Georgia Tech listed, like, well, she must be smart. So I needed somebody for social media, and uh, Tyra Burton came in and rocked our first SEO panel and has been a staple of the digital media track ever since. Awesome. So, and you know, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tony. Tony. Um, 
Man, I had to chase him down too. I got into a podcast group on Facebook. We we're starting a new show at the time called Breaking the Panel, and we wanted to guest hosts and new to meet new people, and just because that's just a little over foreshadowing of what DragonCon is to me is meet new creators. And he got into the group, and I remember looking at his very very first Facebook page and being I channeled my inner Todd Cochran maybe or Dave no Dave Jackson. I, I channel my inner Dave Jackson just got really critical of his website. I was like mm, I don't like it. And I didn't follow up. But then we, we tried to invite him on the show and he didn't come on. And then he's like, hey, I'm going to Dragon. I was like, I'll be at Dragon Con too. I'll be at the podcasting room all weekend. And I kept tagging him, kept tagging him. No, nah, I'm in the Marriott. No, nah, I'm in the hell. Tony's busy. He's everywhere. I think it was a year later that he came to one of my panels and asked a few questions and really got into what he does now. And uh, now we actually are partners with the ConMods at the ConMods.com. Mm -hmm. Uh, I love yeah. Now, now that you took my my unconstructive and harsh criticism, you do great. Uh, and uh, we actually have a show Friday night, super fantastic family fun time game show. Saturday night. Saturday night. It, today's Friday, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you right? But hey, Tony P. Anderson. Thank you. Starting a podcast, and they had a uh, podcasting panel. It was Charles, Mark Gunn, uh, Brian Ebbett, uh, oh my goodness, uh, Brian Belmont. Oh, yeah, yeah. Came from Veronica, and everybody, everybody came from Veronica. Veronica. Yeah. Um, but it, it sincerely like, kind of kicked off the passion and, and, and how to do it and made me believe, okay, I can go out there and start making it. Um, and that was it. The rest was history. It really started from. Um, Going to that one battle, now here I am stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always stepping up your game, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just told everybody history. Uh, so, <laughs> but this, this, this is, yeah. Ah, see, he, he's gonna put a ring on it one day. I promise you. Uh, this is what DragonCon is to me. Meeting creators, working with new people, never knowing who you're going to meet and the connections you're going to make and, and the relationships and how to do that. And reaching out to the world, right? Before, when it's podcasting track, it was you had to be here. And we were up in this tiny room. I think maybe 60 people could get in max. And it's grown and grown. But this camera here that sits in the room, we're streaming live on Twitch.tv slash DC Digital Media. So, yeah, we're going to wave all that down. We don't need to clap. They're, we don't even know if they're watching. We don't need to clap for those people. It's all right. <laughs> those people. Kurt, I'm talking to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kurt. I love Kurt. Kurt, Kurt Booten's one of our, a bunch of our great friends, and, and he was unable to make it this year. Um, but yeah, we, we make that way. So we're live on every panelist in this room. We try to record the other rooms and, and just grow it bigger and better. And I've, I've told people like Bobby Blackwell's here in the audience told Bobby that, um, um, I want you to start here and we'll give you as much as we can. And then we really start introducing you out. Now, Bobby didn't necessarily need that. He knew people in the comp, but I do that for everybody is, is what can we get you? Can we get you on track track? Can we get you on Brit track? And uh, Tony, you're actually moderating. Because of that process, basically ended up moderating two awesome, three awesome people yeah, this year. Actually, I'm so early. Um, <laughs> no, you know, I'm trying to sort out. Can I give Charles a hard time whenever I can? But that really, really was the case. Uh, did like started the podcast, did one or two panels, kind of started moderating panels, kind of asked like, hey, is there other stuff? Uh, so yeah, today at one is um, uh, uh, Neville Longbottom and Jenny Weasley. So I get to sit with them on the big stage and talk to them. So I'm pretty excited about that. Woo! And then Sundays, Lou Gossett Jr. And I'm, oh! and I'm kind of freaking out, but I'm going to take it day by day. And then, you know, first step <laughs> come to this. I'm worried about, about Lou Gossett Jr. on Sunday, but I really am kind of freaking out. Wow. So. I break out. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Tyra, Tyra is our manager pro tem of, of con mods. So she, she roots for us constantly and makes a way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
So, Bar, you're you're the newest face to me. I want to know from you, what is Dragon Con to you? Do I get to go first? You okay. get to go first. <laughs> awesome. Um, I love Dragon Con. So I get to combine so many things that I love about life into one thing when I come to Dragon Con. I'm talking creativity, partying. <laughs> <laughs> In that order. <laughs> energy, doing panels. I mean, I started out coming to Dragon Con, and now I'm an attending pro. And I love the progression that I've done. But all of those things combined and friends and moms and family. Um, I went through withdrawal last year, guys. Yeah. I really did. Like, I didn't think that I would. I was like, oh, it's a year off. I need a year off anyway, you know. But I was sitting up looking at pictures, putting up old pictures, really going through it. Because I'm like, I missed this. And it means so much to me. So. All of those things culminating into one, that little melting pot of creativity, fun, party, and people, bonds, family is what Dragon Con means to me. And this is why I don't ever want to miss it as long as I am able to come. I want to be in this space and in this place. That's awesome. Uh, Jessica, like I said, we met, we met uh, at the Marriott across the street. Um, then we, we talked a little bit online and... Um, Still want to get in the door and help out as much as I can there. But what is this? Is your first year? This is our first year, first panel, first everything here at Dragon Con. So, uh, (laughs) Or <laughs> media. Yeah, right. I never, like, they scored before. And I always thought Trump was kind of interesting anyway. Because I love the idea of like being in a world where there's no gender and no race issues and no money and no food problems. Like, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. I love this. So, um, even though this is my first Dragon Con, I've watched in the last year Deep Space Nine, I watched Discovery, I watched the new <laughs> card thing. Like, I'm all about it. I'm so excited. I've been podcasting for a long time. I'm honored to be speaking here even at all, but I'm excited because it's totally new thing for me. So I just started doing it last year and um, now I'm like already able to like, Comic Con sort of thing, doing a little stuff Comic Con I know, but like it's better. We're better than Comic Con. <laughs> I mean I've never been to one but um this is better because it feels a little bit more like the podcasting version of that. It's like Right? Am I wrong about that? It's more it's familiar, right, right. Yeah, it's like more familial, like you said, mm-hmm. and a little bit more personal, a little bit more anything go well, you know, Trek Track's right there. I'll be <laughs> I'll be happy to introduce you to Garrett Wang later on. All right. Uh so yeah, I mean just excited to be part of it, which is something when you invited me that didn't know that how well I would fit in. So I'm excited, yeah. Well you're gonna you're gonna fit in great. All right. Uh, you know, at this table, I think we've got uh, two two Dragon Con pros down there. And uh, Stephanie here came with this this little hyper puppy of a dude the first year. And that's all I remember is is uh, this this bonded out guy like, can I help? Can I help? Can I help? Um, which is great. So if you want to swap places, with Mike, that'd be awesome. Yeah, sure. Okay. No, 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 but so, but I tell that story to say, you know, he's he is very eager, he's very cool, he overshadows. But Stephanie was all, kind of that quiet voice at first, and that that's a lie. Um, <laughs> she does in addition each week, and it's a great show. And what is Dragon Con? For you protest too much, and you're doing sketching skate that show this yes. week, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, <laughs> Tony did not bring me coffee, I cannot speak this morning. <sighs> so, so what does Dragon Con mean to you? I mean, I think it's the fact that there is a place for everything. Growing up, it was like I was a figure skater and there wasn't really a place for that in real sports or uh, (laughs) here we go. (laughs) Um, You know, there like it was kind of like adjacent. And I feel like as I got into the Shakespeare world, it was the adjacent of like theater and nerd stuff. Like it's kind of always felt like I'm on the outside of niche things in like the sub niche of niche. And <laughs> and then I get to Dragon Con and it's like there is a Brit track and an animation track and the digital media track and all three of those things together. Swan and I do sketching Shakespeare. She draws and I talk about Shakespeare and 
it's the you know combination of three different tracks plus more. There's a, you know Star Wars track has the William Shakespeare Star Wars later on today. There's oh, nice. everything is a crossover and everyone fits everywhere instead of trying to find a place that you fit. It's like, where don't I fit in this? Even the things that you haven't seen or experienced, there's a, you're still welcome in those rooms. And I have, you know, not watched a lot of Star Trek, but I'm going to pop over. We did the Star Trek karaoke room a couple of years ago. And I was like, I love Star Trek so much. <laughs> Star Trek is my jam. Um, and so it's just, there's so much that's welcoming. And I think for digital media, especially being able to connect with people all around the world especially in the last year, meeting people that I never would have known existed, uh, but so much opened up technologically and being able to maintain those connections and then see so many people that I've seen their shoulders up for the past year. They have whole bodies and I'm like, wow. <laughs> so just being here and being part of it and knowing that you fit everywhere at this con instead of trying to like... I told you it was a lie. She is not a quiet person. <laughs> it is a lie. But yeah, instead of trying to like sneak your way into fitting somewhere, it's just this whole con opens you with welcome arms, and I love it. And you you actually had a, a, a unique Dragon Con experience by you never came here before you had a panel. Yeah. <laughs> we came here for, uh, we were our D&D show, Adventure Incorporated. Botched, right? Yeah, yes, we botched. had hooked up with the Botched Boys. And they were like, come to Dragon Con and we'll do a blood feud. And we were like, okay. We had, I had never been to any convention before. <laughs> and now we're fighting. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd never been to any type of convention. So for this to be my first experience and then be doing shows at the first experience, it was a, a lot and really amazing kind of right off the bat. Uh, I'm going to pick on Todd Cochran in the back. By the way, Blueberry. Is, is a sponsor of our track this year, and they've been amazing every year. Every year, Blueberry's a sponsor. Um, lots of great, cool swag on the back. Uh, I love the coffee mug. Coffee mug says, remember to hit record on the coffee mug. It's the mug I need. It's the best. So, uh, uh, but I, I, I'd go to other little podcast conferences. Maybe not little, but they were, when it's a conference and not a con, it's, it's very structured, and you're going to learn this, this, and this, and this. And then I came to Dragon Con. I was like, that's not it. And I tried to warn Todd when he came the first year. He was like, it is not like everything you've been to. And uh, I think he had a great time. He got a collector card that year with, with his picture on it. And, and he still uses it as a profile, which is awesome. Uh, but it is different to come to Dragon Con. And it's, when you try to explain it to people, it is very difficult. So, Tony, how do you explain it to people? Uh, you know, so the other two people really did take my answer. Um, so I'm just going to kind of recap what I said. The, the first one, I think, I think Seth said it. Welcoming. It's, I, so I have a friend, it's her first year this year. And so I'm like, all right, go. Like, oh, she knows. She's yeah. excited. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I said. I was like, hey, everyone's nice. Everyone's cool. If you need help, ask anybody. They'll help you. Um, and go to whatever you want. And she's like, well, I don't really know a lot about. Doesn't matter. You know, to Seth's point, like, I don't know a lot about Star Trek. Don't care. Go. They'll get you up to speed. People are there to share their stuff. They're happy to share it and, and bring you in. It's not, you know, at least I haven't seen any gatekeeping or anything like that. So it's just a, a, a super fun, welcoming place. Uh, I'm excited for it to be your first time. And I heard that in your voice. You're like, Tony is a con mom. I just love it. I honestly love it, and I, I like preach it like the gospel. Um, and so, yeah, there, get that out of your head. Everyone's good. Kind of, most everyone's going to be cool. <laughs> most everyone's there to help and have fun and welcome you in. And, and I think it was the Seth's point. There's a panel and track for anything. Yes. Anything you can think of. I'm like, do you like something? Yeah. Well, there's something out there. Um, or you'll find some other stuff that you didn't know you like. Like Star Trek karaoke. It's not really good. It's not really It's impossible not to do it. Yeah. You've yeah. yeah. got a lot of things. Yeah. Like, it's very relaxing. So that's good. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're, you're in the right place. There's yeah. tons of stuff. Check it all out. You can't do it all, but what you do, well, damn. 
You've been doing this for 12 years. You can't do it all, but what you do, do will be good. That's all. Yeah. I was saying, you find, you find your kinship, you find your friend, you find your, your tribe, your whatever. Here, it's, it is easy to do, actually, as long as you just say hi or somebody's going to come up to you and I love that hat, I love that shirt, I love and you're like instantly with a group of people that are like-minded and I haven't experienced that anywhere but here. Yeah. Oh my God. Costumes you never could have imagined. Mashups and cross-ups you never would have thought of. So fun. Now I saved one of my favorites for last. I like everybody here, but Tyra, once you get to know Tyra, she makes everything better. It it is. Tony, does she not make everything better? That's true. You didn't make me coffee, so. Thank you, um, man. But Tyra, Tyra is a, a what's it called when you have the badge forever? Eternal. eternal. You're, she's an eternal, so she's been coming oh, wow. for longer than Than anybody I know. Been alive. I'll put it to you that way. Yeah. <laughs> I've been oh. coming for thirty-three years. Wow! Wow! wow. That's, that's uh, yeah. By the way, <laughs> yeah. That, you missed that for, but this is the 35th anniversary of Dragon Con. So I missed the first two. Oh, lame. Oh. So what is, man? That that broad range of experience. I'm sure you went from attendee to maybe volunteering. I don't. I know your husband volunteered. I don't know if you did, but no. different panels. What is Dragon Con? Your Dragon Con experience. So how many of you were the kid that never fit in? I think everybody. Yeah. Okay. So once a year, I got to fit in. Yes. Yes. You know, that's what Dragon Con is. is, You know, you fit in. And I've seen it grow from like one hotel to two hotels to all of it downtown Atlanta. Please get out of our way. And we don't care that there's football. Um, (laughs) So I do like football too. I just want to say that. Sports ball. (laughs) But um, for me, it's a, it's just, it's your tribe. It's like I come here and my peeps are here and I, I felt safe. I checked in yesterday and I cried. Because I was like, oh my God, everybody's wearing masks and everybody's being respectful. And I love my peeps. And we're back. And so my life has been changed and opened up so much through being on panels and meeting people and talking to people. The reason I'm so connected. Like a husband? Yeah, I met my husband at Dragon Con. So you can find love here too, right? And and, and I always knew I, I said the only place that I'll ever find anybody is Dragon Con. So if you're out there and you dressed as a Marge Simpson 12 years ago at the evening of Brie, thank you, because my six foot four husband could not see around you and he had to move and sit next to me. <laughs> so He's a short there. guy. Yeah, yeah, just a little tiny man dressed as I think yeah. Indiana Jones today. So, <laughs> But the great thing is like, I don't cosplay, but he does and he can go and cosplay and everybody loves him. And he, you know, he's a big guy. So he's not like you're, you know, a lot of cosplayers are, but stable people love him in all his costumes. It doesn't matter. And I love that about Dragon Con. You know, you can be whatever yeah. you want. Except yeah. You have to be kind. Yes. 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 You must be respectful. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm going to jump on that. So, I mean, she's right. You do have to be kind because, like I said, 99% of everyone else is. So if you're kind of acting a fool, everyone's going to let you know. Like, you're, you're really not going to get away with it. Someone's going to, you know, politely talk to you. Uh, except Facebook. That's different. That's the Wild West. Oh, yeah, Facebook. But, I mean, I think a lot of people put themselves out. Like, I saw a, a Facebook post about this young lady who put herself out and wore a costume that she might not have worn to another convention. Yes, yes. And that's what we do here, and that's why I think being kind is so important. So. Yeah. You know, that's, that is another part of my Dragon Con is, especially as, as directors and volunteers, the heart of Dragon Con to me is what you're saying. Everybody fits. Everybody's welcome. But it's 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 in a very positive way. We're better. We're better than that. Right? It's not that we're better than you. It's like, no. While the world out there is full yeah. of fear and anger and hatred, we're better than that. Right? We're, we, to a tech side, you know, guys are running around the room, make sure everything's working right and tweaking things. But I'm never quite happy because I always feel like as a creator, we can do better. Yes. We can always do better. And in a non- negative way i think we should be better than any other track because we're always striving to be better whereas to be fair i think i'm being fair you know something like animation they're there to be fans we're here to create and when i see somebody wearing a badge like mine that has director or a volunteer badge 
and they're not better, right? They're not kind. They're they're talking to the bar staff. This is a real story. Talking to the bar staff, like, hey, hey, you know, we need some help over here. And there's one guy behind the bar, and the bar is full. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. You need me to go talk to him? Because I know that guy. I'll put him in his place real quick. That's not cool. And it's not because it's Dragon Con is Dragon Con because it's Dragon Con. I, mean, I don't know how else to say it. Like, it's, it's, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon Con is Dragon Con because that's it's Dragon Con. God, that's it. That's Dumbest, <laughs> most sensical thing you've ever yeah. said. <laughs> yeah. He's on or something. Sense. I think it's profound and deep. I love <laughs> it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. I, I need I need you to do a, a Venture Inc. later on. I need you to do, uh, there's a blood feud in Coast. So uh, be great. Anytime you need me. Uh, <laughs> and, and can you can you roll a die? That's pretty much the qualification. If you roll a die. It's true. Um, we don't even shine. do that most of the time. <laughs> it is it is rare and weird when something wrong goes when, when something wrong happens rather when people go wrong rather. And, you know, uh, uh, with you, the police Saturday, I mean, Atlanta PD will be here all day. They always are. Uh, but Saturday, of course, being COVID with masks, it's going to be people getting upset. They're not being let in, that kind of thing. But typically, you rarely see any kind of, of negative occurrence here. And it's, it's, it's so rare, it'll make the news instantly. But they'll defend Dragon Con in a heartbeat. We had... Um, Four or five years ago, some idiot threw a chair off a balcony, chair, uh, and, uh, chair and the news just crucified him. And not us, not the, not the con, the guy who threw it. And and uh, follow up to that, if nobody knows, two years later they caught him and prosecuted him, and he went to jail. Yeah, so okay. there's that. Good. Uh, Imagine two yeah, years yes, later, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh, but, you, hey, Atlanta was on it. You think yeah. you're in the clear? Like two years later, you're in <laughs> San Juataneo on the beach or something, <laughs> and they track you down like. <laughs> Uh, Can we shout out to all yes. the hotel staff? Yes. And yes. Can I tell you how much they look forward to us coming because we're we're not crabby and we're you know different and we wear costumes and they have a blast. So be nice to them. They are so awesome. They are. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I always uh, actually when they come in during the panel, if I'm on the panel, I'll start the panel and get everybody to clap for them when they come in. Uh, they and I've seen faces here that are still here from two three years ago. Oh, yeah. Yes. Which is not common in hotel life so it's interesting to see that they're all into it they're wearing the shirts and nobody gives any grief it's, it's been great um, Hyatt has bellmen that have been here for literally decades that fight to work our shifts yeah, the the guy that brought my stuff up had, in the west end had been here i was like hey have you done this event before he was like uh yeah i've been here 25 years I'm like, <laughs> wow <laughs> like not to pipe in but so, some of that's so, atlanta yeah. i think <laughs> yeah. i've only been here like three times but i've noticed every time i'm here like Anyone in a staff position is like just the nicest, most considerate, thoughtful person. I just think because it's Dragon Con, even when we're not here, yeah. we affected the hotels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I think. There, no, I think, the hotels are. Great. I think having it here is amazing. Yeah, having it in Atlanta is awesome. I was gonna say there's an element of, and I think that's what makes it what it is. Of you know, obviously all the geeks and nerds, and then a southern hospitality. Yeah, exactly. And and a. a Diverse culture in Atlanta. I feel like Atlanta is very accepting. And it's just a, the perfect a city. I'm from Philly. They're not accepting. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Do we feel me now? You don't say anything about another team unless you want to be punched. Just anywhere on the street. Just in a restaurant. Yeah, I wore a, a Star Trek shirt once in Philadelphia. I got hit with a battery. Um, <laughs> you feel me? It's a nice place. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'll let whoever wants to jump in, jump in. What do you hope to get out of this weekend here at Dragon Con? For me, I want to reconnect to the people I missed last year. Um, you know, usually I'm all about my costumes and I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta wear something new and impressive and fun. But this year I said, I miss the connection with people. So this weekend, everyone that was brave enough to come out and safe enough to come out, I want to sit with them, talk to them, catch up with them, touch them, hug them if they're open to it. Well, I said touch them, hug them. <laughs> Either or, no. either Essentially or. hug them. <laughs> with consent and conversation. With consent right, right, and right. conversation. With people. your soul. Just touch them with your soul. And touch them with my soul. Thank you. And your words. <laughs> Have to choose our words wisely right. here. Um, so that's what I'm really looking forward to. And this list of guests that's here this weekend. And Luke Gossett Jr. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I really want to meet. <laughs> 
<laughs> these amazing icons okay and then the, the icons that's in costumes i, I just want to connect okay i just want to so hug me if you're open to it i just want to connect with you touch lou gossett jr touch my soul <laughs> <laughs> Touch, touch the staff eyes. of the boys and the, the staff of Batwoman and all of those wonderful people. So that's what I want. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, what are, we, what are you looking for? Um, I'm actually, uh, there's so much. It's a little intimidating, but um, mm. just whatever I stumble upon, I want it to be a chance to go deeper with something that I've only grazed the surface of, like not just Star Trek, which I love, but there's, I've noticed there's so many other things like The Boys and um, some other shows that I'm like, I've been really into that I just noticed over the past couple of days, they're going to have sessions here. So I think all conferences are sort of a way to like take something you're interested in and go really deep and become like a super fan and geek out about something that you think is cool so i'm just excited to do that with whatever i sort of trip over yeah you know that's a good way that's a lot of trip over. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the, the car trip over the carpet quite a bit so far so it's good I, I have a friend of mine who comes who thinks the app is a game to beat so he tries to schedule every panel he's ever <laughs> interested in it on every try it'll get like four conflicting and he tries to hit oh, them yeah. all so you can't well, there's beat definitely the some <laughs> fomo action with that app yeah. for sure say, don't doesn't everybody them. Yeah, I mean, no. I, I live on this track. I don't. There's well, no other track whatever. in the world but this one. <laughs> Aw. Charles is like an ogre in this basement. <laughs> yeah, Tony. Shrek Tony gets to go podcast. eat and then come right back. That's about it. <laughs> you feel like, oh, you know, director so so. Like, no, they're not on digital media. I don't know. I'm busy. I'm also busy, but it's yeah, like, right. oh, this is my world. I don't know this other app thing you talk about. <laughs> so, what about you, Tony? What are you looking forward to? I'm just excited to be back. I, I think it was Bar that mentioned uh, last year, just going through it, really feeling it. And I was surprised. I'm not very emotional. And we did the virtual, and it was fun. And a lot of my friends that are here, we did it together and stayed up till like, 6 in the morning <laughs> talking on Zoom. And I was like, we don't stay up that late in person. <laughs> and it was great. But to your point, just not being able to see people and hug people, uh, I – Dare I say I missed it, and I'm not. I'm not that person. Like the rest of the 360 days of the year, leave me alone. Um, but it's just nice to see all my friends, be back, hug people, touch people. However, we decide we're gonna do that. Um, yeah. And then uh, the reason um, I enjoy moderating things so much is I get to see a crowd of like smiling, happy faces. You know, so I I'm excited for that to to welcome people back and see them have fun. I'll in turn have fun. Then we're all having fun. So yeah. <laughs> that's what matters. What better than a pandemic to teach us how important face-to-face -face human contact right? is? Yeah. Like I really took that for granted before. I complained about bridal showers Same, yeah. and freaking, you know, family, you know, holidays and stuff. I will never, ever do that again. Wow, never nice. take that stuff for granted because there is something once you once you have it taken away, you realize how much you need it, whether you like it or not. Absolutely. You know. Tyra, what about you? So I'm looking forward to Lewis Gossett Jr. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have, this is the one panel my husband and I have scheduled together, so at least I'll see him at that point. Yeah, nice. um, I am, like I said before, the pandemic just killed my creativity, and I have felt blocked for like the last year and a half. So um, I've guested on some podcasts, but both of mine have kind of languished in the basement of no return. And so I'm hoping that this weekend really sparks me back to getting behind the microphone because I love being behind a microphone. I actually teach online and I enjoy it, which you'll hear <laughs> like three of us say, um, because there's just stuff you can do online that you can't do in person. There's stuff you can do in person you can't do online. So, but I'm hoping that I find that again. And we get to bring with my two best friends who, when your best guy friend marries your best girlfriend, before That's they get awesome. married, they have an agreement Come of on. who gets me what? if they ever get what? divorced. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, That's Brian adorable. was my, my guest guy friend, and Jennifer was my student, and they oh met at a Christmas God, party. Right. Okay, <laughs> and now they're married. Best friend, student, and then your 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 husband. You said this. I'm not putting throwing anything out there. Your yeah, sure. husband's ex wife got you on the into yeah. Dragon Con or on the panel? On the panel, not Dragon. Uh, I'm, 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 I know. Okay, <laughs> which one gets you if they get divorced? Which one wins? <laughs> <laughs> so, we, we, um, I'll tell you. I've known Brian for since night. 30 something years. Uh, she gets me. She says girlfriends always stay together. Okay. <laughs> so, 
So at least I think she does. They won't tell me, but she kind of winked at me. So I have a feeling. Oh. But, <laughs> you know. but I love it because he he has he does Dragon Con completely different than we have how we do Dragon Con, and my husband does Dragon Con differently than I do. And um, I just want to be here and talk to people and find creative spark and just experience joy and let's all smile through our eyes. I can't do that. I try really hard. <laughs> Smizing. You smile through your Smizing. hair. I know. I'm trying. I finally have pink again. Pink oh hair. my God. I like yeah. to, I had to dye my own hair during the pandemic. My hair grew like this much. I hadn't been that long in my entire life. It was horrible. I'm so happy to have hair cut and pink again. So, yeah, Stephanie, so. what are you looking for this weekend? Yeah, um, I went through the cut my own bangs phase of the <laughs> pandemic. So yeah. You can tell how low I was. Um, <laughs> so I'm really excited because I think this year is, uh, I'm a teacher as well. And Yay. there's so much that we learned last year online about um, how to make learning accessible for more people. And so much of how we learn to make this stuff more accessible to people around the world. Yep. And so being back in person, we had our first panel last night and I was like, an audience. And I had <laughs> spent a year convincing myself that performing on Zoom is the same. Mm. It's still the same. And it's, it's not. not. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's like, still it's such not. an incredible uh, accessibility tool and such an amazing way to connect with people around the world as a supplement to being in yes. person. Yes. So I think that's what I'm really looking forward to. And just the fact that these panels are being streamed, we're already doing that. We're already taking these worlds and putting them together and moving forward in a more positive way. We talked about it a lot last year. Yes, we want things, you know, we're going to take all of the bad with the good and we're going to bring it forward. Um, going back to a normal isn't the way to do it. We're pushing forward to a new normal. And just the fact that this track is doing it and so many others, I'm so excited to, you know, navigate that world of in-person while maintaining those digital relationships to stay up with Tony in his footy pajamas until 6 a.m. Uh, in person instead of <laughs> That's a great online. I didn't bring that. Loving that visual. What? And then ride with him get donuts. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> so, yeah, like, just being able to make, I've made so many connections over the past year with new people. And so trying to take that spirit of, it's easy to send someone a DM on Twitter or whatever. It's a lot harder to go up to someone and be like, hello, my name is. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to take some of that spirit and meet as many new people as I can and just keep growing the connections that I've been able to make. Yes. Yeah. You, you, and you can disagree with people here, right? And be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can, you have conversations about stuff and be on different sides of topics. I don't you know. Got depends. All, what are we disagreeing about, pins. Charles? It's like I'm about to drop a bomb. <laughs> no, it's a different lead. It don't tense up like you've been on a show with me before. It's all right. I can see why you uh, two are opposite. Listen, our uh, Hogwarts house disagreement just gives me a little PTSD, okay? Uh, no, uh, I want to, I want to highlight Todd Cochran. He's in the back here. And, and Todd, Todd says things to me like, man, you're too funny and talented to be a podcaster. You shouldn't be in this field. I disagree with him, and it's cool. Hold and, on. And, Todd's and, here. <laughs> Todd, did you did does he he say that? Uh, but no, what I love about he Todd is, is full of compliments. Is he really disagrees with you? Here's the heart of Todd Cochran and Blueberry. And I I, I got a, a fun story to tell about all this because I met him through Blueberry and got some advertisements and ran into him at some conventions. And the first year I was ever working really with the track. I just reached out to him. I was like, hey, can you help out? This is what we're doing. And they did. Blueberry stepped up. But, you know, what I'm talking about with Todd is that even if you disagree with him and, and say things, because he said some controversial. Well, it's not controversial, but he'll get on the, he'll get on the panel. He will not. No, he is controversial. He, it's great. I love it. That's All why time. I want him back every year. <laughs> but his heart is get into it. Create. I want the community to be better. Everything he does with Raw Voice and Blueberry is to elevate the community and make it better in the way that he sees fit. And in past years, we've done official letters and all the stuff for the board. This year, with, with COVID and everything, I was trying to get somebody to help me and, and do some fundraising, this and that and the other. And I, I literally say, Todd, time's running out, man. I'm behind the eight ball. Can you help me out? He's like, done. Just like that, done. And he was here for us. Got this great table cover on the back table here. And we're like, oh, let's put it on the front table. No, nope, no, nope, we're here. We're here to support and just make things better. And that's what I love about how people come together. And you yeah, know, big hand for Blueberry and Todd Cochran. Um, he's and even then, you know, I, I, with him and other people that that come in, I say, "Here's the schedule. What do you want to be on?" And I put him on a few things, but he's like, "No, nah, I'm good. I got my panel. Non non intrusive. 
Whereas there's other people who've asked for a lot of stuff when they want to sponsor your track, so or your your spot or whatever. Uh, so it's very very cool, and I, I do love that. But that being better, right? If you're as a creator for this is where we're going to talk to all of you right now. I want you to give some advice on how to be better to everybody out here and everybody watching. <laughs> if you're not striving to be better, how can you help anybody else out? Because when you're better, you can help people be better. This, and I will call it out in a heartbeat on the panel, in your face, on your show, wherever it is. The moment of, no, yo, sorry. Sorry, Scott. No, nobody. This is my show. <laughs> We're the worst show ever. You put yourself down, I'm going to tell you, get out or get better. Because that's not cool. You are putting yourself down. I can tell you all day long, you've got a great show. I can tell you all day long, you've got a, a, a good audience. Look at your numbers. Look at your interaction. I go, do you not know who I am? I'm the rock on a podcast and you listen to me. <laughs> but if you don't tell yourself you're good, you're not good, right? You'll never be good. And so what's some advice you can give to people watching, people listening, and people getting in the room of, of how you became better and how you can help them be better and why they should be better? Steph, I'll go with you. Um, yeah, be genuine and know that there's a place for, even if it's the tiniest, most niche thing that you love, share it because there's someone out there. Uh, when we started Adventure Inc, we were like, if there's one person who listens every week, it's, that's one more person than, you know, zero. <laughs> um, and so, <laughs> huh. this is, thank wow. you. Love that man. Uh, love that man. Love that man. <laughs> I'm an English she teacher, teaches. not a math teacher. <laughs> I was going to say, that person's your mom. Uh, it Probably. is. <laughs> My mom does listen to our D&D show. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, like put yourself out there because you're going to find a group of people that share the things that you're interested in. And if you are interested and passionate in something, trust your voice and trust your... Uh, sincerity. And I think if you create uh, with an intent to share um, and just be part of something and you genuinely want other people to be part of that, that circle, that group, that's, I think, the best way that you can move yourself forward without any air of pretense or um, anything like that. So. Nice. Awesome. Nice. We'll go straight down. Bar, what you got? Um, I say dare to be different, number one be authentic but importantly i learned when i was younger because i was a dancer and i danced with a lot of musical groups don't compete with other people compete with yourself that's who yes. you yeah. compete with yes that's yes. how you level up because that's how you're going to continue to grow um looking at someone else and and, and trying to do what they do and do it how they do it and perform it how they perform it is not advantageous for you so those are my advice that is my advice for people you can be authentic and compete with yourself and learn and don't be and don't be don't be afraid to see something you like talk to the people that's doing stuff that you like ask them for advice ask them for help because you will find out a lot of creatives we love to share our creativity <laughs> we're like yeah oh, you could do it this way so be open to that and and don't again don't be competitive please there is space for everybody yes okay dragon Con proves that dragon Con proves that. jessica um, I also want to give a shout out to Blueberry because they are a really good example of that. They are always improving and making their product. They're a, a podcast hosting company, among other things, and they always are making their product better and prettier and cooler to use. So I agree with that. I just want to say thank you to them for sponsoring this track. Um, um, <laughs> but, um, okay, so as far as being better, I think there's two things. The first is to like never stop learning about the thing that you're doing, not just about like, like educating yourself, on, but there's always something. So I'm not a, a tech person. I did my podcast for like three years with the worst microphone ever. And I didn't, I didn't know until someone gifted me a decent one, how terrible I sounded before. And I mean, I wouldn't call myself necessarily a professional podcaster anyway, but because I, I mostly do it for funsies, but, but still, if you want to be better, you have to learn the next level of better. But then I also think, 
not to be arrogant when you start and feel like, you know, just because you have really good content or really good sound or really good co-host yeah. that you can't improve. Because I think people are just like, I'm just going to sit in my basement because I'm hilarious. <laughs> and I mean, that might be true, but you can still be better. And Smart then you can Marin, still be better. And out. then you can still be better, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just think you can define for yourself what leveling up is, but don't ever feel like you're done. Right. You know? Yeah. There's always something more that you can do to, to tweak and be better. So I'm going to have about how to get started is how I'm going to look at this. So if it wasn't for my friend, Brian, I probably never would have podcasted. So if you have a friend, it's a lot easier to start podcasting because then you're not just staring at a green dot That's true. and pretending there's people there. There's very actually true. a person there. And it prepared me very well for teaching online where there was only a green dot and no <laughs> cameras on. So I always suggest if you've got a friend that you can start with, even if they just co-host with you for a little while, it can really help you get comfortable behind a microphone because a lot of people freak out when the record buttons are hit. I have a good friend who's a musician and he's amazing and he still freaks out when the record button is hit and he's in front of a microphone. So yeah. having a friendly face staring back at you, I think really does help. And I think the other thing on the other side, if you feel like you're not good enough, it's okay. I promise there's a worse sound. Oh yeah. Start terrible. Okay. I agree. <laughs> it's I agree. Be terrible. Okay. But you, you know, know, just keep it in mind that it's a process. No, no, get better. <laughs> but if you just have a headset that you've been using to play World of Warcraft, try that. It's fine. Yeah. Just get behind the mic and start and then keep leveling up. Yeah. No, but you're right. Be ugly and terrible at first. If as long as you do it, like she said, I mean, you don't have just to start be, doing it. Yeah. Just start. Yeah. Agree. Jessica, would you say your voice will never change the world if you don't use your voice? I mean, certainly it would be difficult. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you don't use your voice, it's hard yeah. for it to change the world. But I, but I, but I think what she meant by saying one is more than zero is that no matter what you pod, if I could be more eloquent than her for a minute, no, I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Be I'm joking. Kind. This, is how, this is how you get better, Sam. I'm it's joking. Okay. But seriously, better. but seriously, I do tell I do tell clients and people in our group all the time that like someone out there needs to hear what you have to say, even if it is just one person. But if you've podcasted for even you know a couple months, someone will tell you because you said this, I did this, or my kids yes. learning this, or I went to this place, or I tried the, even if someone tried a different restaurant because of you, I mean, like, that's kind of a, you change someone's life. It's tiny, but it's a big deal, right? Yes. Influencer. Don't not call on me unless you want me to talk a lot. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. I mean, we only have another hour to fill. It's all right. Sorry. But yeah, I, I mean, yes, try, just start. I agree. It's really important. And uh, Tony, oh, that, that, no, I'm good. I'm here. I'm here. Um, I was listening to everyone and I was like, man, one is greater than zero. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, it's kind of the look, man, kind of like what everyone already said for me, the advice every year I do one of these panels, every year I say the same thing, just get started, just do it. Nike's going to sue me, whatever. Um, no. And I always challenge people. They're like, oh, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. I'm like, okay, tell me about it next year when you come back. Have it started. Yes. Um, and for me, yeah, I, I oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, for me, like, I, I'm honest to get in this podcast and kind of changed my life. Um, I never, I'm not a huge podcaster. I don't, you know, some shows I had, we stopped doing, but it has all led to other opportunities and meeting a crap ton of awesome people. So I tell people, just do it. It's fun. Um, you'll have fun doing it. You'll meet awesome people. It opens up other doors. So, yeah, and then there's no, like, what's the risk? You know, like, like someone said, if you have a wow headset, the best mic is the mic you have. Mm -hmm. So just get started. Get going. There's Definitely really agrees. zero <laughs> risk um, and, a, and a lot of reward. So, yeah, if there, I don't know if there's anyone in here like, oh, maybe we'll start a podcast. Come back next year. Tell me about How it. How many people already yeah. have one? How many in here already have one? <laughs> Nice. I mean, so you're have three. Are you thinking of it? Are you considering starting it? Is that why you're here? You should start today. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Or your Twitch. So stream. open your phone and just talk yeah. into it and see how it feels. Exactly. Anchor. Right? Anchor has an app. You can That's just right. Do no, no anchor. Hey, no. Dude, I did, blueberry. I did, no I anchor. Blueberry. blueberry. Hey, do they have the app that I can just pull up record? Doesn't talk? matter. That's what no I want, anchor. Todd. No anchor. Tell Angelo to give me that app, Todd. No so anchor. Anchor, you don't anchor own, owns your RSS feed. You don't own your RSS feed with anchor, no Charles. anchor, Charles. Never again say that word. <laughs> hey, one, one thing go ahead. Tyra pointed out, I'm sorry, is not just podcasts. <laughs> he touched me. Whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, uh, YouTube. That's true. Yeah. We're Shane. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not not just podcast. If you want to make a podcast, make a podcast. Twitch, YouTube. If you yeah. want to draw something, if you want to write something, whatever it is, you're like, oh, yeah. I'm kind of thinking about just f and do it. And it wasn't me this time. Get it started. Hey, no, that doesn't count. Well, I mean, like we have Kurt, who is watching story time with Kurt. He takes, oh, you know, a Christmas carol and reads it and has the most sm- soothing, hot it's hot perfect gravy. voice. It's hot gravy. It's yeah, like hot, hot gravy, gravy voice. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I mean, it's content that's already been created. Mm-hmm. So it's putting it out there in a new and different and engaging way. And so you don't even need to start from scratch if that's something that's a barrier for your entry. Just do it. Take it and do it and make it your own. And join the Discord um, digital media channel. That's there's a mm. lot of awesome help there. People will go in there, ask a question if they're having problems, or they'll drop when they're having sales. I got a webcam because of people. So, uh, Charles, I don't know how they get on that, but I bet you know how. <laughs> no, I did not set that up. <laughs> website. I, I, did. I think it's on the website. Joe, who is also so, so Facebook. Not. Also, but. if you're if you're female or non-binary, you can join She Podcasts as well. And Clubhouse is good too. And Clubhouse is good. And uh, for for our Discord, if you go to Facebook.com/slash DC Digital Media. Uh, track, I think it's DC. Just start with DC Digital Media, you'll find it. Alex, Look, did you please? So he doesn't know. Alex. I'm almost positive it's on the website too. Yeah, so we we got our links up there. I'll tell uh, Alex to take care of that for you. It's it's if it's kind of like how you get to Dragon Con, right, Tony? You know a friend who's there, and they get you in. They yes. bring you in. Mm-hmm. So um, bro, we got interrupted in a good way. We've got the official placard of the Big Brothers Big Sisters. I'll read it for once because I don't like reading things. Dragon Con's official charity for 2021 is Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Shut up. Of Metro Atlanta. Dragon Con will again match dollar for dollar up to $100,000 for each dollar raised. It turns into two. So that would be $200,000 if if you're Stephanie. Uh, nearly half a million children in, in Metro Atlanta live in communities with low or very low child well-being. As the nation's largest donor and volunteer-supported mentoring network, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, makes meaningful monitored matches between adult volunteers, the bigs, and children, the littles. That's on, I'm reading it. Didn't make that up. Ages that's five. A different three. thing, dude. The what? bigs and the littles, that's a different. Okay. I didn't write it. It's there. No, it's not. Age five through young it? adulthood and communities across I'll Atlanta. I'll tell you about littles later. <laughs> they develop positive <laughs> relationships that have direct and lasting effect on the lives of young people, ignite their full potential. They are defenders of potential. Help kids be better. That's what we're gonna do. Yay! Yay. So, hey, and it, it and really is the community. Like it's this community. So you yeah. know they host the event and then they do give back. Uh, I think it's awesome that they do that and support that. And we did get the QR code and we'll tape it to the door where people will stop for half a second as they go out and scan it and donate. We have the donation cans over there as well by the water. And the, uh, the flyer station. you just held up is for the 5K. There's actually a Dragon Con virtual oh, 5K. Right. has a really cool medal. And I walked five miles yesterday, so I already went and bought mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, That's I'm awesome. in. And that also supports uh, Big yes. Brothers, Big Sisters. Yes. And then this hashtag I put here is DCDM2021 for DC Digital Media 2021. Well, I've got a walls thing that we always put up on the screen. I'm still finishing it up today. Uh, but if you go through the con, take your pictures of all the panels like he's doing right now or she's doing right now. Somebody, they, the non-assumptive person with the camera is taking a picture. Hashtag it. You're getting there, Charlie. Right I'm working on it. I'm trying to break my old Southern habits and saying, there. yes, ma'am, and yes, sir, and going, yes, you. Um, yes, so y'all. polite. Yes, yes y'all. Oh, I yes, love y'all. that. Yes, How about y'all? just you guys? Yes, y'all. Yes, y'all is the best. So, oh, thank you. Tyra makes everything Pleasure, better. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if you hashtag it, your pictures and your posts will show up on our wall. And then we pull it at the end of the year and put it on our Facebook page and, and those kind of things. Um, and then, oh, I got one last thing I want to ask a favor for. I want our friend Mike Ellison to come up and get us hot, give us a good let's go. To end this panel and kick off the whole cause. Mike! Let's do it's it. Like a, it's like an Olympic torch lighting. Yeah, it's it's, it. it. no, it's going it's to fire you up. This is the best thing da, 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 da. Hey, everyone. Mike Ellison here. Hey, Mike. Adventure Incorporated podcast. Ask the Pokedex for in, in addition. Mm-hmm. And I just want to say, let's go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> We got our next panel at eleven thirty. We can go now because yeah, wow. Yeah. 
that's that, gonna be a thing. That's right? what I needed. That's what I needed. Remember to wash your hands. <laughs> wash your hands. Don't touch the handrails. <laughs> I have hand sanitizer.